but you know I'm a big fan of cottage cheese because that protein the first thing. You've got to be quiet, okay? You have to stop. Hey guys, it's Sandy. I've got a what I eat in a day video for you. Now, um, this is more of a summer what I eat in a day because I'm getting food out of my garden right now or from the farmer's market. So this is just really delicious um, homegrown food. A lot of it is. So this might give you some ideas, you know, so you can go to your farmer's market and get some different things. So I'm going to show you zucchini boats. They are absolutely delicious. Whenever you're getting tons of zucchini, what are you going to do with them? Um, also, you're going to see that I'm somebody, well, actually, I'll just tell you, I'm somebody who gets in a rut. I could literally eat the same thing every day. So I try to change it up sometimes, give you different ideas also. But I could make three eggs in the morning and right now eat a tomato on the side or a piece of fruit. So I'm a big fan of getting protein first thing in the morning. So I'm also gonna show you some protein pancakes that I made and give you the recipe for that. Um, they have cottage cheese in them. So I know that sounds nasty, but they aren't at all. Cottage cheese, I'm a big fan of it. It gives you a lot of protein in the morning also. So just some different ideas here. Um, summertime food. Maybe you can get some new ideas for your dinners this week, for your breakfast or your lunch. And here we go. Josie girl here. She wants my attention, don't you? So here is meal one. I told you I could literally eat eggs almost every day. So there's three fried eggs here and white peaches. I got these from the farmer's market. They were absolutely delicious, super juicy. They were small, so I had two small white peaches here. And then... Um, refried eggs and like I said I could start off my day like this almost every day and then I just had some tea so I usually drink green tea in the morning while I'm fasting and then I'll have an herbal tea later so this was 10 30 in the morning and then later on for lunch I just made a big salad with some sweet and savory um, flavors in there so I had a yellow bell pepper from the farmer's market also I put a can of tuna and some everything bagel seasoning and some blueberries and celery on top of a spring mix it was delicious and then I just use a homemade balsamic vinegar on it for supper I use zucchini out of our garden we're starting to get a whole lot of zucchini right now and made these boats these zucchini boats so they have um, pork sausage and cheese and tomatoes and some different ingredients in there. I will post the recipe below. These are absolutely delicious. The zucchini, you cook it just long enough that it's tender but still got a little bit of a crunch to it. It was so good. I'll put this recipe below. And now we go on to day two. These were these protein pancakes that I told you about. I topped them with frozen berries that I just put in the microwave to unthaw, and that just made juices in it also. So it's cottage cheese and egg whites and oats that are all in a blender along with uh, baking powder and cinnamon. I'll put this recipe below also. It's really good. It was so easy to make and it's tons of protein this way. And then I just popped it with a little bit of maple syrup on top and peanut butter. And then those pancakes filled me up so much that I just wasn't very hungry. So I just wanted something light and I made myself a smoothie. So it's got the protein, chocolate protein powder in it, a little bit of PB powder. This is my homemade coconut milk that I did a video on. And then I put in some chia seeds and flax seeds to get all that extra nutrition and fiber in there. And then I had a bowl of um, frozen blueberries with it. That's kind of like what I like to do whenever I have a smoothie. So really good super easy and it just um, fills me up and gives me some nutrition whenever I'm not really that hungry and then here we go with more food out of the garden the sweet corn came from my dad's garden and I got the tomatoes out of our garden and then this is a green beans potatoes uh, onions sausage that I put in the instant pot I did a video on this on five dinners for $20 that are super easy to make Probably wouldn't cost $20 now, but with the prices, but this is a delicious garden meal. And then here I go, the same thing, because I still had more white peaches, so I wanted to use them up, you know, before they got spoiled. So just three fried eggs and some peaches again this morning. 
I was working from home, so I just made this super simple lunch with, again, tomatoes out of the garden, some Greek yogurt with some cinnamon and some peanut butter, and then an avocado with some olive oil and some everything bagel seasoning on both the tomatoes and the avocado. So it's just a nice mix of healthy fats and protein and some good um, carbs with the vegetables. It was just a simple lunch while I'm working at home. And then for supper, again, more zucchini. You know, whenever you just have zucchini coming out of your ears in the garden, which is a great problem to have. So I put the zucchini, the mushrooms, and the um, carrots all on a tray in the oven and roasted it. And then I put the um, chicken thighs and a different one in the oven, just so those grease wouldn't be running into the vegetables. But super easy, I put everything in the oven, roasted it all, put some seasonings on top, and it was delicious. So here is day four, and I just started my day off. This is around 11 a.m., and I started my day off with a really big salad, just chock full of um, chicken and avocados and tomatoes and celery, and um, I put sauerkraut on the side just so I can get those probiotics in also. Just topped it all with everything bagel seasoning and some homemade balsamic um, vinaigrette and then I had some fresh cherries and I had made these muffins um, which are just uh, made out of a wheat flour They're actually called a peanut butter and jelly muffin <laughs> they're really good so I just make them we eat them up or I stick them in the freezer and freeze them and take one out at a time just so I can have something sweet on the side also with that good milled wheat in it just to have that fiber and then for a snack later, because I ate later in the day and I really wasn't very hungry, I just had some almonds and peeled an orange and had that just as an easy, quick snack just to get me until dinner time. I don't always eat three full meals. Sometimes I just need something lighter in between. And then for supper, I made a chicken tortilla soup and we topped it with uh, white cheddar and um, cilantro and limes and jalapenos and you get to just top it however you want to. So I this is what I had for dinner. I'll put a recipe below. Okay, you guys, I hope that was helpful. Until next time, I'm out.